I would uh, be happy to answer your question. I've known a few girls. MashaAllah, Allah bless them with beauty, with education. They're very talented. And, you know, she would be the kind of person anyone would like to marry. And she says, I cannot get married, Sheikh, pay for me. They want to get involved. Actually, there are people who propose, like you just said, MashaAllah, Safiya. And some people, not necessarily you, they keep looking for Mr. Right. And Mr. Right, you will find him in Jannah. Because if you need Mr. Right, then you'll have to be Miss Right. Again, I'm not necessarily saying you, Sophia. You will never find the perfect person, the one who's got all your demands. And he is void of any of the things which you abhor or dislike. People have good and bad. So when the good overcome what is bad, alhamdulillah wa shukrillah. And when the person is of good manners and he is nice looking and he's offering the ibadah, he's having a decent income, alhamdulillah, can provide for the family, say bismillah right away. You pray istikhara and you consult friends, trustworthy people. And then if you feel like going for it, do not think about it again. Reluctance and giving it too much thoughts and being so scared, maybe I, you know, I was kind of hasty in making the decision, is what actually ruins the proposal and the relationship. And uh, that really has nothing to do with the gem. Okay? If you can sit down and recite Surah Al-Baqarah entirely on your own, then mashallah you can beat any jinn. You're perfectly fine. If you need personal counseling and um, assistance in this regard, inshallah I'll be back in one week from now. You can collect my personal number and I'll be more than happy inshallah to walk you through. May Allah bless you, Sister Safiya. And may Allah make it easy for you to find the right person and the right life mate.